day two Global Woman Summit. Tell us a little bit about yourself and why you're here. I'm just so excited to be here, to be in presence of these amazing women and of course males. I feel extreme gratitude and full of gratefulness. My heart is so full to be part of this, to be feeling all of this, that everybody has come here for the same thing. We all have the same vision. We want to be better. We want to elevate ourselves in all areas of life. And, and that's so wonderful to be feeling this energy and embodying it in my body. So I just wanted to share that with you before I even start answering your question. Wow, wow. well tell us about your gift. What's your gift? What's your uh, passion? Thank you for asking me that question. So I think my gift is that I am so natural in connecting with people and finding out <laughs> and finding out what they might not need in the moment. I think I'm very good, I'm very intuitive with people and my passion is to help and try and help and reach two million people so that I will be able to touch their hearts and help them awaken and ignite their, their drive inside them that maybe has fallen asleep so that they can become more aware that negative thoughts and negative mindset doesn't drive you forward it keeps you stuck in a past and help them embed in all the atoms of their body the positive mindset in any situation that they're faced with and I want to start that with teenagers Aww. even younger children so I'm delivering at the moment emotion coaching in primary schools and I do Lego therapy and I think working with children who are neurodiverse actually helps them understand themselves better and gives them the tools so that they can expand into the beautiful butterflies that they are but they just don't know that they are so that is my current thing that I do but my vision is to empower and give the tools to parents because everything comes and everything goes backwards because the parents are the ones that also need support because if I do help the children in my sessions when the child goes back home and they're faced with a parent who has got a very stuck negative mindset it is very very difficult and challenging for the child to kind of uh, even know who they are because it's they're in turbulence you know through what I'm saying and then opposite of what the parents are saying so helping parents as well to implement a positive mindset I mean I can see I mean this is wow and um, I can see this comes with real passion you're really activated you've obviously found your purpose I'm guessing there's a personal story that makes you so passionate around this would you care to give us a teaser Oh, my story is so huge. I mean, I can I can honestly go so far back. But you've been through it and earned yeah. the miles, right? I think I turned my pain without realizing that I can turn my pain into my passion. And Give us one practical strategy on what you did to turn things around. I trusted somebody who believed in me. I trusted somebody who saw the greatness in me. And I surrendered knowing I don't know what the unknown is going to give me but knowing that I had the trust in someone because they saw the greatness in me was that catalyst you know for the path forward for my greatness that is so profound it only takes one person to believe in you and, and this is what's lovely about this for example we all believe in each other we're all rooting for each other and we want the best in each other wow. that is so true and I just want to maybe give you a, a bit of a like snapshot I came to this country when I was 17 no English spoken to live in as a pair for a year I didn't even know how I communicated with the family a mother unfortunately got diagnosed with a cancer and she passed away. The father threw me out on the street the following day. I was on my own and fast forward I have two amazing children. My daughter is nearly 20 and my son is almost 17 and, um, and there was something that happened to me pre-COVID 2020 and that's when all even bigger 
change happen, for me to serve children, for me to serve myself as well, my younger self, my, my little self, my little me, so that I can show the children that they can do it too. So inspiring and you know creating these future secure powerful leaders is amazing work. So thank you so much for being here, sharing your energy. I feel it. You've done the work. It's real radiance and beauty and that's a feminine energy. Yeah.